So a lot of you have appeared during the time I stopped posting. And you know, this makes me believe that the most effective way to get people to subscribe is not by being friendly and asking nicely, but instead by threatening their well-being with imprisonment. Excuse me? Hmm? What is it? Please, may I just please see my family? <sighs> no. It's kind of wild to think 10,000 eyes are watching these videos. Well, actually, 20,000 eyes, assuming you all have two of them. And if you only have one, then, um, can you see me here? <laughs> what about here? You need to leave! I was just kidding! Come on! Come on! You guys know I was just kidding, right? Today, I'm going to be working on a video game idea using Unity. Oh, really? What, what type of video game will you be making? An FPS game idea! Wait, 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 wait. Before you say anything, I know it's not the most original video game genre out there, but give me a chance. The game will be called Op Goes Pop, or OGP for short. Here's a quick overview of the features and mechanics I would like to add to this game. So basically, the gameplay environment takes place in a void, or in the air, I guess you can say. And there are these platforms that float an empty space where the player will stand on. They are disconnected from one another, so to move around, you're required to jump from platform to platform. I'm planning to make this a multiplayer game, so in order to kill your opponent, you can either shoot them until their life points go down to zero, or, which is my favorite, make them fall into the void by shooting and destroying the platform beneath them. I was thinking of adding a double jump mechanic to allow the player to recover from falling, but then I thought of a more interesting recovery move. You see, the gun you'll be using will not only fire bullets, but it will also fire a burst of sonic waves that can propel you based on the direction you're aiming and shooting. And you can also use it to push your opponent off the edge, both literally and figuratively. So what do you think? Actually, your game concept doesn't sound that original. I know a game that's almost exactly like that. Yours just sound like a ripoff in a bootleg version of it. There are a lot of little details I forgot to mention on the game mechanics and features, but we'll go over them as we're going along. I'm really just winging it. And because this is a rough draft, I'll most likely change my mind on certain things due to no ideas, functionality, and of course, you guys' constructive critic <laughs> criticism. Let's open up Unity and start creating. I'm first going to set up a gaming environment. Done. This is sort of what I have in mind at the moment. I'm sure there are certain things I can do to make things more interesting. For example, I would like to add more complex platforms like having ones that can move. But for now, I think this is a good prototype to start with. Baby steps. Now let's create our player and our player controls. For this, we can either use the rigid body component or the character controller component. I'm kind of leaning towards the first option because the character controller is not affected by forces, meaning it does not use no response to physics. Why not code your own physics? What's up? Why not code your own physics? Plus, the character controller will give you more control and flexibility over your character's movement and behavior. Y yeah, I, I guess you're right. I could do that. Uh, but you see, the thing is, like, I could do it. It's just like... That would take more time, and I feel like the game won't... Uh, Alright! I fucking can't, okay? <laughs> like, look at this! And what the fuck is a quaternion? <clears throat> Sorry about that. The reason why I'm trying to avoid using the character controller is because I've already tried using it. At first, I thought physics wouldn't be too much of a priority because I did not see the player interacting with physics objects all that much. I thought gravity was the only thing I had to worry about with the character controller. However, that was not the case, and I'll explain to you why later in this video. Now that we've chosen a controller method, let's give our player a temporary mesh so we can see it. For now, we just want basic controls. You want to be able to look and move around and jump. Using Unity's new input system made this very easy, but having to learn and understand it took me quite some time like three four out it took me three days Whoa! 
All right, I can jump, I can look around, but I think I'm jumping a little bit too high. Yeah, yeah, no. I'm gonna have to increase the force of gravity a bit more. All right, much, much better. This is looking good. By the way, I'm using a gamepad here instead of a keyboard and mouse because I found out that the player movement and the camera movement are much more smooth on it. Looking and moving around happens on a 2D vector and the values of X and Y <laughs> The values of X and Y can either be positive one or negative one. But I think the gamepad smoothed out these values giving me numbers between positive one and negative one. And the keyboard and mouse just don't do that. Let me show you real quick. Yeah, see, there's clearly a difference, so I think I'm gonna have to smooth out these values manually in code using some lerping tactic. But anyway, I'm pretty content with this so far. By the way, you just thought of Minecraft right there. Okay, now let's get some shooting action happening. But first, we need a gun. I would go to the Unity Asset Store and get one there for free, but we don't need any of that. We can make one ourselves. We are pro 3D modelers over here, I <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Yeah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Skills are unmatched. Let's add a crosshair to make it easier to aim. Okay, we're ready to write our gun script to make the gun shoot. We can easily do that by casting a ray starting at the position of our camera and make it go in the forward direction. And if the ray hits something, then we've hit something. We can shoot now. The ray is invisible, but you can tell it's hitting something by looking in the console. You'll see we're getting the name of the game object we're hitting within our range. But that's pretty boring, so let's add a muzzle flash and sound effects to our gun to make things more interesting. I went ahead and created this low quality muzzle flash by playing around with the particle system. It's very basic, but I think it gets the idea across. Now let's add some shooting sound effects to give it some oomph. I'm gonna go to the studio real quick to record some ad-libs and then I'll add it to the game. The last thing I'm going to do for this game in this video is adding the sonic burst mechanic I mentioned at the beginning. And this is where I was having issues with the character controller. Basically, I just want to add a force to the player in the opposite direction it's facing when the player shoots. Here it is in action before I was using the rigid body. Looks pretty normal, right? WRONG! There is NOTHING normal about this because if I don't aim and shoot directly up or down, this happens. I could not add a force to the character controller for a brief moment in any direction. It's not like jumping when you're only changing your Y velocity. Now I'm sure there is a way to do this with the character controller, but when you have something as simple as this, I could not resist switching. So I had to redo almost everything and now it's working exactly how I want. Now when I shoot, the force is not continuous and I come to a stop. I wanna show you something that I think looks pretty cool.
The game feel is pretty garbage, there are no gunsways, recoils, or anything like that, so I'll do them in a different video. And I'm probably shooting myself in the foot here trying to make this a multiplayer experience because I don't know the first thing about doing that. I think I'll start with making it local first rather than jumping straight into online multiplayer. I don't know, I don't see this game going anywhere. I'll take a leap of faith and see what happens. Now before I go, I have a couple things to say, so sit down. For the past three months, this channel has grown quite a bit. And I really mean it when I say thank you so much to you. Yes, you. I'm sure many of you can already tell what type of content I make. On here, you'll see me build and talk about whatever I want within the realm of computing. Whether that's gaming related stuff like this, or electronics related stuff like making a fart button with a Raspberry Pi. I don't take myself nor anything I do on this channel too seriously. I simply just want to entertain and do things I find interesting and funny. I'm back and I will start posting again. I think it was a good idea to come back with a Unity video because since my last one, I have not touched Unity and forgot 99 percent of it. The 1% was me knowing the logo. Wait a second. In that video, I said, but there is still a lot of room to learn, so I will keep on studying and researching. I lied. So to prevent this from happening again, I thought working on a project I like while also making content out of it will force me to use Unity. Now I don't have an upload schedule and that's because I don't want to feel like I'm on a time crunch. I'm a one-man team and these videos take me a while to make. On top of that, I'm still in school. The summer semester just started and shit is getting serious. And oh yeah, I've been noticing a few people asking me if I have a Discord server. Well, now I do and you can join if you want. The link will be down in the description. And I think that about covers it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Mom, this tastes different. Did you put anything different in it? Fall.